Here we are with Tamara Sash, head coach Anthony Crescido, and Elena Harris in a 68-59 set back to Tampa. Coach, going into this game, is like, and especially after that first quarter, this seemed like a game where the momentum was within our grasp and we had things going and then just the rest of the game through, Tampa found a way to sneak back and take advantage. Well, it's the even quarters, right? It's the end of the end of the half. You know, they, they win that quarter and they own the last couple minutes and a half. And then they, they, did, they took care of their business in the, in the fourth quarter. We fussed on three to four possessions where I had to burn a timeout um, to get a bucket. And the, those, those three or four possessions we didn't score really came back to, to get us because we only put up nine points in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it definitely seemed like there was some stuff in here. I mean, obviously we won't go into the, too much of the details, but you know the box score tells a little part of the story of in terms of what's going on. But overall, you know, we'll switch over to some of the positives again. You guys win two of the four quarters against Tampa in the game, and just talk a little bit about you know the the build up within the Sunshine State Conference and opponents and what it's going to take down the rest of the season to keep this momentum going. Me or them? Me? Could be any one of you. I feel like we're ready for games like this. I'm not shocked we beat them two out of the four quarters. We prepared really hard. I was even saying coming in, it doesn't even feel like a loss. Like we, we were prepared for the game. We were ready. Like We came in here ready to win a game regardless of what Tampa's ranked. It's just kind of tough when you can't finish it out at the end. But at the, at the end of the day, I just feel like we were ready to be in the situations we were put in, and we excelled when we could. Any, obviously, overall, like you just mentioned tomorrow, a game that you guys – you know, kept going, but would it, would there have been anything, you know, obviously outside of the result that you would have wanted to do differently? I just feel like maybe the intangibles, like the small stuff, the little sparks of energy, the like getting in people, like I just feel like we have to get our game to the next level against teams like Tampa, and obviously going into the game, we knew we had to be near too perfect. If we take away like four or five of our turnovers, that puts us in a completely different spot, and coach says it all the time. We need to limit our turnovers against teams like Tampa because those are what turn around and later hurt us down the stretch. You know, you're talking to Coach and Lingo right here, and something I would, I'm would i going to think about is we didn't do 13-second shot clock. We didn't really get after it on transition O. And today we had a couple guys jogging, but a couple guys playing long minutes. I would have wanted to speed up our tempo, uh, which they couldn't handle. We, we were scoring every which way, but we got we got slow. Or maybe we got tired. Maybe a couple guys played too many minutes. I could second-guess it all day long. But there was so much prep that went into it. We, you know, we're keeping these guys uh, a pretty long time in the gym. And they absorbed a heck of a lot. And they're going to be ready. I mean, you can tell everybody that's watching this here, this team is going to play with everybody. They're going to be ready in February. That's the goal. This is a journey. There's no sprint here. The analogy is what it is. But this team will have an identity and will be ready. We showed it tonight. And I promise you they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna come, come out successful um, throughout this season. You'll see. Elena, you had a tall task tonight. You know, most of the, from what we witnessed, you know, most of your time you you were having to defend Sidney Kin in the paint. Talk a little bit about that experience, what it was like. You know, just some of the thoughts and some of the takeaways you had from tonight's game. Um, I would say being one of the smaller posts, you would have to be more physical and be straight up with her. You can't really foul somebody like that because she has a longer reach, so it's easier for her to shoot over me, but. As long as I'm as physical with her and I push her out of her comfort zone, I think I'm doing the best job that I can. Coach, again, just kind of wrapping things up all together, just going back to the scoring chances, I mean, obviously something that you've seen a few, you've seen the typical players, I mean, obviously Amanda Ulrich, another 20-plus point performance, but, you know, just overall we're continuing to see more and more of the players in here and just kind of talk a little bit about the decisions, you know, what led to getting players to get more playing time. Because usually, sometimes in games like these, they would look to just go with your best players against a top team, but still, you found a way to get most of the team getting some more playing time. So just talk it's, a little bit about... It's tough, man. Uh, it, it, it's not a job that I wish on everybody. It's a fun job. I love my job. There's nothing I want to do in the world, but it's not always fun. Um, I feel really good about tonight. Amanda Ulrich is probably the most prol prolific scorer I've coached, um, and I'm very hard on her. Um, and I give her a lot, and I, I'm critical of her. But I, I want to make, I want to see her be the best player she possibly could be, and she's playing on another level. I mean, she's carried us. She's she's brought us back. Um, look at her numbers today: nine for twenty-two as a guard, a couple threes went in and out. Um, shot selections improved, defense improved. Kid is just, she's tremendous. But the reason these these young ladies are here is this kid's going to come. She was willing to be up for the task, to take the eight shots, to get in position where I asked her to score. Will we tweak it a little bit next time? We will. 
but she went off the dribble. She got the ball in the block. I'm proud of her. I don't care about the results. I'm looking at the process. This kid will be ready. This kid, as a freshman, wouldn't have been guarding three different people like she was today or running around the floor. And she's very hard and critical on herself, but she wants to be in the game and help these women. These are two future leaders in the world. But I'll tell you, to have a button and, a, and an Ulrich and, and the rest of these guys, and it's hard, man, because you got other guys on the bench that are, that are working hard every day. But, you know, we basically had a, a seven on an eight on seven today. Um, but it, it, it's a tough job, man. And I, 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 looking at my daughter play softball is no different than watching these guys going up and down. I care, and, I, and my heart's pumping for them. And uh, we're going to be okay. I promised, and I want this team to watch this. We are going to be okay. I'm really proud of what we did today in, in a loss. I really am. And they're, they're going to be okay.